It says morgue on there. Wait, did we just stumble upon a morgue? Are there any spirits in here in the morgue? Can you move something? Can you make the... Oh! Is there anybody behind me? Hello? So we just made a discovery in this hospital. They left a body behind. There's a devil here. I'm Mo Sargent. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts or spirits were telling her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy! Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Old Welcome back to another adventure. Today, I'm giving you guys a really big abandoned explore of a haunted hospital. I'm not gonna say where this place is. Apparently, everything's left behind. Let's go treasure hunting in this hospital. Let's go see what's inside. Maybe we can find some ghosts. Maybe we can find some awesome things left behind from the days when this place was active. And uh, keep in mind, it is a hospital. A lot of people have died in this place. All I need from you guys to do is to smash the hell that like button. Join my club. If you guys wanna join my club, my exclusive club on my personal app, the Most Sarge app, the link for that is down below I am posting exclusive videos there once a week so you guys are getting some more content there without further ado smash the like button let's get on with this video all right we got Renny with me today it is a huge hospital and we got Angelo somewhere up ahead already so we are starting off in the basement apparently or the main floor holy this place is scary whoa yeah it looks like an asylum of some sort so supposedly a lot of things are left behind in this place and uh, on the way in here, I found like a hazmat suit. So this is the type of content you guys like. The abandoned, the creepy, the scary. And I'm giving that to y'all. So since we started off this adventure in the basement somehow, I don't know how we ended up in the basement, but we did. We might be able to find the morgue. And uh, hopefully we get lucky and fight it right away. You guys know the morgue is always like the crazy thing to find in abandoned places. So far, no morgue, but I mean, we're gonna keep looking. Hopefully we will find it. So far, no morgue, but there is a room here full of files and books and papers, but we're gonna keep looking. So hopefully we find it. And then we're gonna make our way upstairs and see what we can find. So we found another hallway over here. It looks a bit cleaner than what we were walking through. It's definitely a lot of mist and wetness. This looks like it could have been the morgue in here. It's possible. Don't know yet, but we shall see. Nope, definitely not the morgue. False alarm. <laughs> What'd you find? Oh, that's the archive. Yeah. Whoa, I've seen these before in hospitals. It almost looks identical to another hospital that I've been to. It's torn down now, but look how awesome this is, guys. No. Whoa, guys, look at this. All these archives, like they used to put people's files here. So if you were in this hospital at one point in time, your name or file was probably here at one point. Isn't that crazy? A little tunnel here. Yeah. So I might have actually found where the morgue is on the way into the archive. I see what looks like refrigerator doors just down that way to the left. But I want to continue here and see what's over here before we go there. Oh, look at that. We got some creepy elevators over here. Hey, oh, this is definitely where the morgue was. Oh my God. Yeah. Like refrigerators, I guess. I don't know. Could very well have been the morgue. No, this is the the, the food area, <laughs> not the morgue. There's a lot of it's a cafeteria. It's where they kept food. Whoa, it's flooded in here. Isn't that creepy? Well, eventually we will find the morgue. The fridges are completely like. Full of water. 
So believe it or not, it turns out we're not actually in the basement. We're actually on the main floor and we found a staircase that goes down. So that actually might be where the morgue is. So if this main floor is this destroyed and nasty looking, imagine how the basement looks. Let's go down there right now and investigate. So, oh my God, I don't think we can go down the basement. It's flooded, completely flooded. Look at that, you guys. Flooded all the way to the ceiling. But it's still, we have like seven floors to explore yeah. going upwards. You never know, we can find like another section of basement. All right, so um, 30,000 likes and I'll go diving here with a scuba tank. Can we do it? Okay, 50,000 likes, 50,000, 30,000. I don't know, just become a loyal member on my exclusives app and then I'll go down there. Maybe I'll bring my water drone and I'll send it in there someday. <laughs> and I think I'll post that video on the exclusives. So let me know if you guys want me to do that. You have to become an exclusive member to watch it. Do you guys hear something laughing? So this is the power plant area. As you guys can see, this should not be flooded. This is why their heat and ventilation isn't working. That's your problem right there, hospital. The water. Now, jokes aside though, we did hear something like laughing kind of. What the f was that? Nothing, it's outside. This main floor is so big. We're so lucky exploring it. Trying to see if we can find anything cool in here. I can't wait to see what's upstairs. So far, not getting anything on the K2 meter. That could mean there's no spirits in this place or we haven't encountered anything spiritual yet. Yeah, we've checked every staircase. All the basement entrances are flooded to the top full of water. No way in hell we're gonna be able to get in there. But we can go upstairs. There are like seven more floors to this place. Look at this. So we're gonna be exploring floor by floor. Whoa. Oh yeah, now it's looking like a scary ass hospital. Look at this, you guys. The upside is now we have some natural light. Yeah. Yeah, we got more natural light coming in through the windows now. Now with the, that we're upstairs. Okay, check it out, you guys. This is the area where the nurses would sit. We are on the second floor now. It is really, really destroyed too. Oh my God. So Angelo told me that this place was not destroyed and everything was left behind yeah, sure. and it was crazy. full of everything even patients were left behind yeah. like you even told me patients were left behind oh, you didn't see them? no downstairs in that one imagine that imagine an abandoned hospital where they leave patients behind oh, that would be yeah, so sure. messed up on so many ethical and moral skills like <laughs> that would just be messed up but you know what's funny i think they did do something like that in new orleans when the hurricane katrina hit and the big abandoned hospital they they actually killed off a lot of patients that were in the hospital really? because they didn't want to move them. They didn't like have the time or they a lot of doctors. Yeah, doctors were actually charged for murder in New Orleans. I tried to go to that hospital, but the security did not us entry. But they actually killed patients just because they were too lazy to move them. Imagine that. Imagine like your grandpa or your mom or your dad. You know, they have a chance of living. And then this doctor that's supposed to help them out just basically executes them because he or she did not want to have to go through the burden of moving them. Moving in deeper and deeper into this hospital. I kind of cut my leg on a piece of metal here and hoping it doesn't get infected inside this place because that would be really bad. Look at how terrifying this looks, you guys. Whoa. So my goal for this hospital video is to find something really awesome. Also investigate paranormal. So we will be doing that throughout mid part of this video or maybe the end of this video, depending on what we find in here. So depending on how much content there is in a building like this, it could be a really long video or it could be a really short video. The top floor is the most haunted? Yeah. You know why? Because when people die, their souls rise up to the top. They yeah, they get stuck. They get, they get denied. All right. How about this? You go right, I'm gonna go this way. And uh, we'll let each other know what we find. Renny, you're with me. <laughs> yeah. Renny, you are with me. Do you have to walk on everything that makes noises? Everything here makes noises. <laughs> look at but, the floor. but look at me, I walk like a ninja. Oh, look at this, dude. What are these for? These are like refrigerators for something. They must have kept some medicine in here. Oh, that's so creepy. 
Look at that. Notice non-hospital personnel, please register. Never mind. Oh, they got the biohazard sign right there. Great. Look. Lock yourself in there. No, thank you. Oh, it says morgue on there. Wait, did we just stumble upon a morgue? There's no way. There's no way we did. Oh, we might have. This might actually be it. Yeah, we did stumble upon the morgue. But the morgue table is missing. Look, the table would usually be there in the middle. Yeah, this is it. Look, there's a vial. Whoa. Well, we actually just accidentally stumbled upon the morgue. It's because I was giving you for walking on loud things that I turned this way, so yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> My K2 meter was just going crazy in here in the morgue. It's probably the most appropriate place for it to go off though. It's not doing it now though. It was. Just give it a little moment. See, it's not because of the camera. See, look, I got the K2 on the camera. It was just going crazy for no reason. Are there any spirits in here in the morgue? Give us a sign. Can you move something? Can you make the, oh. Don't shine the light at it, hold on. Look at that, look at that. Can you make the K2 go to red again? Can you make it spike up to orange and red? It smells like death over here all of a sudden. It literally does smell like it's death and very, like sulfur. Very kind of pungent. Hey spirits, you did it once, can you do it again please? Can you make the K2 spike? Pretty sure I got it on camera that first time. Either way, let's just keep exploring. See what happens. So the fact that we found the morgue is, is amazing. Now, it's a small morgue. I would have expected it to be bigger. Yeah, same, I agree. So usually with morgues, there should be like refrigerators where they would keep the bodies. This is probably the most, tr yo, we found the morgue. Did you? Yeah, and the K2 was going off in the morgue. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's right, so right behind me. We accidentally just stumbled onto it. Oh, what is this? There's the MRI machine right here. A machine? Yeah, there's one here too. Look at this, you guys. So there's a whole machine. Oh, it's, it's muddy and wet in here and disgusting. What is this supposed to be? Holy Guys, what? come see this. Whoa. I have never seen this before in my life. It's a full-blown MRI machine. Really? Yeah, like not destroyed or anything. Oh my God. Made by Philips. Holy shit. This is crazy. I've never seen one in real life. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So the morgue is just down through there, just through that wall. The uh, MRI machines are over here. Makes sense. So there you go. We just proved that most hospitals didn't put their morgues in the basement like everybody thought so. So this is cool. Moving along, I just found another room here. It's got the x-ray machine, as you guys can see. It's all Phillips stuff. I have no information about this hospital, how old it is. <laughs> Not too much about it. I mean, it's an abandoned hospital, but it's a really massive one. Attention female patients, if you are pregnant or suspect that you might be, notify the technologist prior to the examination. So this right here is the intensive care unit. So much water everywhere. It's like hard to walk anywhere. We were not expecting a lot of water. And I don't know if this is safe to walk on, but I'm gonna try. Whoa. Man oh man, this place is trashed. Don't know who could have done all this destruction. A lot of it is natural decay and also a lot of it is people going into this place trying to rob like copper wire. You must be really, really desperate to have to break and destroy a place just to get some copper wire from the walls. But look at this guys. I'm in here all alone right now. The guys are on the other side. Whoa. Look at this emergency door right here. Ugh, I hate hospitals. Never like going to them. I know nobody likes going to a hospital. Why would they? It's like a bad place to be. Lots of sadness. Oh. I'm hoping the uh, upper floors, because there are more floors, I'm hoping they're a bit drier than this and not as wet. Nothing on the K2. It felt like something moved over there, but it could be just random things falling off the ceilings. Is there anybody behind me? 
Hello? Just heard something walking behind me. Guys, are you here? It's so quiet all of a sudden. Guys, if you're here, show yourself. Yeah, I'm starting to freak out. All right, let's go find the guys. I don't think they are on this side of the hospital. I decided to venture off on my own because you guys know I like doing that sometimes. Hey, look at this machine over here. That's cool. I think that's where they would dump the bedpans. What the f is that? I thought I saw something like a shadow figure. Okay, mildly freaking out now. Freaking out mildly in my thoughts. Hope you guys are enjoying this video though. Smash the like button if you are. And if you're not, then I don't know what you're doing here. Might as well just pack it up and go home. Or leave or something. I don't know. Do it. You want... oh. Hello? X ray machine. Okay. No clue where the boys are. I think it's about time. God damn it, my shoes got wet. As always. Guys, were you on that side over there with me? Were you on the side over there with me on that side? Really? I was like screaming out to you guys. So, I felt like somebody was walking behind me the whole time. And I, I seen a shadow figure over there. It freaked me out, that's why I'm trying to come back to you guys. I think we should just stay together from now on. For a bit. Oh, look at this, the elevators are in better condition over here. Yeah, huh? Weekend, uh, like oh, you guys came for the gift shop? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Tim Hortons, actually. I'm hungry. All right, let's see what the gift shop and the restaurant has to offer. They are usually overpriced, like way overpriced. At least it's warmer over here. Yeah. Because the sun beaming in, yeah. All the other windows are boarded up. So this was the gift shop, I'm guessing. Hmm. Free gifts. Look at that. They're all taken, though. Oh. <laughs> That thing just started moving over there. It stopped now, but when I walked in, it started moving. That thing that's hanging, it's like slightly moving now, but it was moving actually fast when I walked in. I don't know if I got it on camera. The gift shop is probably the most haunted place because it was so damn expensive. People were yeah. enraged and they had lots of anger when bought stuff. They bought $70 tulips and flowers. And <laughs> Are you telling me this Mars bar is $17.99? Anyways guys, this is where apparently a Tim Hortons was probably the crappiest coffee in the world um, Come at me come at me crappiest coffee in the world. I think so. Do we agree and we're from uh, and we're from Canada uh, Second cup. It's important. It's one up second cup. Is better. Second cup. Yeah, second cup does have coffee. They do. No cool. offense second cup. If you, st if you want me to change my mind at what I said you can sponsor me or something, yeah. but <laughs> They do have garbage coffee. Like their espresso is terrible. But this was the Tim Hortons, I'm guessing. This is pretty cool. All right, moving along, we're making our way upstairs now to the third floor. Hopefully, these stairs aren't too bad. Every floor, I think this floor might not be as boarded up as the second floor. So that might be kind of good. And hopefully, it's not as wet because the other ones were really moist. People down there were just speaking very moistly, you know. Oh, what the hell's that? Hello? What is that? There's a demon in here. Demon, is that you? It's a pigeon. <laughs> the demon pigeons. Hey, look at how awesome. Look at how awesome it is up here. Not much destruction. All right, look at this. There's a door here that says, Welcome to Hell. Oh my God. Holy. I mean, sorry, God, I just swore in here, but it's a church. It's a chapel. Whoa. And there's a piano. Look at that, everybody. Does it work? Does it work? Nope, it does not work. But look at this, guys. There's literally a piano here. Wow. The fact that we found a church is really interesting. For a chapel. Oh, my God. What? What'd you find? It's a staircase. <laughs> oh, you actually got my hopes up. <laughs> oh, spider up to the face. Nice. Oh, you want a light? Ultra clothes. Oh, this is like for the uh, the chapel. Oh. Uh, this is probably where the uh, priests stayed. 
gold color red vestments, black, purple. Maybe maybe when people were dying and they needed priests. I heard something move in the room next to us. That's the chapel. We were just there. Yeah, but I heard like a metal thing like move. I'm guessing like they had clothing for like the priests and stuff. When people were dying here, they wanted to repent or whatever. The priests would come to their bed and you know they would tell them and they would ask for for forgiveness. Yeah. Is there anything in there? Maybe something just fell off the walls or something. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna move along throughout this hospital. See what else we can find. What's in this room? Uh, empty. That's one thing I hate about some of these places. So empty. Completely gutted. Whoa, I'm getting a weird vibe. Where are we now? There's more hospital rooms. Well, keep in mind, we're still on the second floor, I think. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, what? I thought they were my arm. Oh, yeah. told me I didn't see anything. I thought it was a spider, but no, it wasn't. Something literally just tickled my arm. Where do you guys think we are right now, though? I know we're on the second in floor, the but... In hospital? <laughs> Did something just touch me? I heard something moving over there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go this way, he'll go that way, we can meet okay. up in the middle. So I'm currently walking around with the K2 meter trying to see if we can get a spike on it. Earlier in the morgue, we got a big spike a couple times. Only in the morgue so far. Yeah, so far only in the morgue. Oh. What? Something touched my ear. Something touched your ear? Yeah. I would have thought it would have been a cobweb, but I don't see anything. Did you touch Renny? I still feel something touching my elbow. It's yeah. so strange. It's like a tingling. Oh, yeah, that's exactly it. I have a tingling in my ear right now. Well, this part is a little wet. Yeah, this is kind of like the first floor now. Is that washing? No. No, this is some of bedroom, I guess. Yeah, these are old bedrooms going down the hallway. We're going to try the uh, necrophonic eventually. Yeah, we're going to. Apparently, the fourth floor is what they said is the most haunted. Yeah, we're going to be using the necrophonic in here eventually, um, up on the fourth floor, and then maybe back in the, in the morgue too. Whoa, look at this one here. This is kind of cool. There you go. I don't know, I think just the grain from the blinds just mm -hmm. makes it look really, really awesome. Yeah. Still not getting anything on this, so let's keep moving. I'm not kidding. We definitely need to do some shoe shopping after this. Yeah. What was that? Angelo? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whenever noises come from us, we do call it out. So, you know, but sometimes when real things happen, we obviously, you know, investigate it. But, you know, that's good. It was Angelo. Really? It wasn't going off for us here. Yeah, we've got nothing so far. Both Renny and I got touched by something. My elbow got touched. And, and my ear. His ear got touched. Mine's no longer tingling, though, which is good. No, me neither. Hey, check this out. Ooh. Look at that view. Yeah. Can you see it? It's hard to see. Take the camera. Zoom in. Look at that, guys. Look at that view. <laughs> okay, just wait for it. There we go. Now that's a beautiful view. It looks like a lot of it has been cleaned out. Yeah. Like they've actually done it. So the upstairs. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bed. I want a place to stay tonight. I wonder what wing of the hospital this was. All right, should we go upstairs? Yeah. yeah let's go. So we're gonna make it to what we think is the third or fourth floor. We don't know. I think this should be. It says 223 here, so this is the second, second floor. Second floor. This, this place is strange. Like, we thought we were in the basement, and then we weren't. There's so many levels of floors. Check this out, guys. This is the view from the hospital over here. Isn't that awesome? Got boats going by. Got the USA over there. So this is another floor that kind of looks like the last floor. Not much going on. Just a lot of destruction. We're right below the supposedly haunted floor. So if you guys send me $20,000 today on my PayPal, this place could be yours for $20,000. I'll send you the paperwork. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's cool, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's I like your little stance there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. Love Roger to Hi. Okay. Oh man, I was like ready to karate kick, yeah. karate chop this bird. There you go. So far we've been attacked by birds. Alright, I've taken over the camera now. 
Let me know if you guys like it when Randy carries the camera and follows me around, or if you guys just like it from my point of view. I know, I think a lot of you guys like the POV shots, because you know, my videos are different than all the other videos. Like mine are kind of unique because I, I like to make you guys feel like, oh my God. <laughs> Another one. Another one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I like to make you guys feel like you're part of the adventure. Like I, like I know a lot of you guys can't go out there, um, you have disabilities or something, and you can't really do what we do. And you watch my videos because you feel like you're there with me. So let me know in the comments below if this is how you like the videos. Hey, look at this place. Come on, God, we need one bed. I mean, we already found the MRI, which is friggin' awesome, but we need a bed. I wanna see a bed, like a nice bed that hasn't been destroyed. Look at all this. Hey, check this out. Just found like a little office space. Please do not be any psycho killer pigeons in here. We don't like you. Don't attack me. There's more here, guys. Yeah, I'm regretting that I don't have any face masks right now because the mold in here is so strong. So we were about to go upstairs, but then we realized that the hospital continues. It keeps going through and through. It's a big hospital. Oh, this looks like it was like a laboratory or an operation room. It smells nice in here for some reason. Hey guys, yeah. come here for a sec. Yeah, do you smell that? It smells like cologne or something. Like it smells clean in here, right? Kinda. It smells like a scent. Maybe somebody's hiding around. Usually when I go to abandoned places and smell cologne or something, usually someone's hiding. Here somewhere. That doesn't make sense because this hospital is supposed to be fragrant free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over here the scent is stronger. It smells like something really pleasant. Yeah, it smells very pleasant. I don't know if it's cologne or laundry or something. I don't know, but look at this. Whoa. There's so much more going on here. There's a lot of stuff left behind over here. Oh cool, there's machines here. Let's see what these machines are all about. Yeehaw. Birthing, oh this is the birthing area. Oh, wow, I that, kinda figured that's what it was. That's why it smells so much better than anywhere else. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. If alarm sound, identify what is alarm silence, alarm and notify maintenance ASAP. That's cool. In about two months, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, but in about two months, I'm gonna be in one of these areas of the hospital, in the birthing area, because my my wife is gonna give birth in two months, and I'm very excited about that. For those of you that don't know, we're having a baby girl, and I'm very, very happy about that too. Um, if you guys wanna know what the baby girl's name is gonna be, we're gonna be posting it on the vlog channel, the second channel, the Sarji family channel. Subscribe to my second channel. I'm posting daily vlogs on that channel, so make sure you go there. All right, guys, moving along. Meeting the birthing unit. I'm trying to find some incubators, like baby incubators where the babies sit after they or where they put them, those like glass boxes after they're born. I'm trying to find those, but I guess they're taking it all. Oh, that's cool, it's in this. More legs, probably like a surgery room. Yeah, this was a surgery room. Maybe the birthing room. This might have been where they gave birth, right? I would imagine so, Yeah. because of the lights. Yeah, this is probably where they gave birth to children. I wonder how many children were born in this room. Think cool. about it. This place was made, uh, when was this place made? We have no history. We have no history about this place. I'd say probably a hundred years old. No, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. You don't think so? No, it's, it's probably old. 60, 60 years old. I would say. It's an old building, and it was, it was abandoned when, like ten years ago? Probably, maybe even more. Maybe even more. Taking two decades. Yeah. There's a lot of destruction here. Um, I'm, I'm willing to bet like thousands and thousands of babies mm -hmm. were literally came out of someone's hole over here. <laughs> That's a bad way to say it. Do the math though. I'm How many sorry. babies do you think give birth a day in a hospital? Oh, I don't know. Tons. Tons. Yeah. yeah. People popping out children nonstop. Hey, by the way guys, um, I have a theory for this whole COVID-19 thing. Just like back in the day during World War II, the baby boomers were born. We're going to have COVID boomers soon because people are <laughs> bored. They're at home. Oh my God, that ship is moving. I thought it was abandoned. What ship? Look, that ghost ship out there. Oh. Did you guys all see it? Oh, that's yeah. what we were looking at. Earlier. We thought it, I thought it was abandoned. Yeah. Wow. It's big. That is that awesome. Is cool. So cool. I wonder if that's an American ship or a Canadian ship. It was on this side, so I'm going to assume. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming Canadian. Canadian, exactly. So you guys can look right over there. That's the American side. 
This is where a lot of my family. Oh my god, look at that spider. Yeah, I see it. Don't worry. Wow, yeah. you are beautiful. What kind of spider are you? Black widow. <laughs> no, that ain't a black widow. No, no. There's none here. Look at that, guys. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Yo, that's an old school TV right there. How many of you guys had a TV like this when you were a kid? I know I did. So we managed to find the room where the babies were kept. The incubation room. After the babies were born, they're put into this little baby prison for a few days, maybe a week. Yeah. And then the rest is history. They join the world. Look at the wallpaper up there. They got like teddy bears. It's creepy. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a teddy bear ride a bicycle. Have you? You have? My pet bear, I taught how to do it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I showed you the video. Yeah, I remember. So I just found a little room here, I guess, for children. How many of you guys love the sound of this? Oh, I can't stand that sound. Oh my god, I'm crazy. That's not the sound, though. It's your nails. Huh? Use your nails. I know, but this one's pretty bad, too, though. This is ASMR right now. All right, children. What are we gonna learn today? By the way, I'm writing with a piece of glass. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you could find. No one can ever. Oh, what? Oh, Wait, no. No, no. no. They, can, they can never get rid of it. Oh, there you go. It's engraved for yeah. life. Most already was here. Yeah. 1952. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it can never be wiped away. Never, I say, never. Well, look at that. We got really lucky all of a sudden. We found. A bed. <laughs> it looks kind of clean. We might be able, we might be able to sleep on it tonight. TV as well. Oh yeah, they've been watching that. TV. There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. They're winning accommodation. <laughs> All right, climbing higher and higher now into this building. I think this is the final floor. Yeah, supposedly this is the most haunted floor. Floor number four. There we go. Number four. We haven't been getting any readings. On on the K2 meter, but then again, I mean, it is early. It's like 1 p.m. right now. But even so, haunted is haunted no matter what time. But I mean, I don't know, the spirits might have had a, a really long day last night with a guy named Cody. Who's Cody? <laughs> Some guy. <laughs> so I found this random staircase over here. The guys are gonna stay down. Oh, this goes up to the roof. This is my favorite part. You guys know how much I love my roofs. Oh, this is so cool. Yep, let's make our way up there. Oh. Oh, I guess it doesn't go to the roof, it just goes to the power plant. Oh my god, it just touched so many spider webs. For those of you that don't know, this is what operates the elevator. This big contraption over here. These are the cables that brings an elevator up and down. Hey guys. Hey. Not, not much up here. No. This doesn't even get you to the roof. Just as the elevator room. That's lame. All right, so we are on the fourth, and they say it is super haunted, but I don't believe it. I think the morgue area was where the most haunting part is. But we'll see. Maybe we'll use the necrophonic a little bit and uh, try to talk to any patients that were in this hospital. I've gotten lucky in the past in haunted hospitals and communicated with patients. Not much here. Oh, looky, looky. X-ray. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, all this water and grime driving me loco. Somebody was definitely squatting in here. Not there anymore. That's gross. It smells so moldy up in here. Hey guys, do you hear somebody screaming? Stop moving for a sec. I heard somebody screaming, like a man's voice. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. I found a room where squatters were living in. Really? Yeah, so there might be somebody here. So we just made a discovery in this hospital. They left a body behind. But real talk though, guys, this is the body right here. Look at that. <clears throat> the remains of a bird. Probably a pigeon. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Things deteriorating. 
Hey, they left a patient behind in here. Go oh, hey. Hey, Mr. Pigeon. Oh, okay, no, no, there's a window there. I'm not, I'm gonna leave you alone. I wanna try to catch it, I wanna try to catch it. <laughs> Renny, come here, grab the camera. Whatever you do, film it. All right, sorry. All right. Oh, well, look at how cute that is. His friend is outside, yeah. and he's trying to get to his friend. And his brother is trying to get together. You call me the pigeon whisperer for a reason. <laughs> Seems like everywhere I go, I make friends. <laughs> Hi. Man, his heart is be or her heart is beating so hard right now. In case anybody's curious, we're trying to help the pigeon get yeah, out of here. It's help, trapped. Help the pigeon get out of here. It's trapped. Look at his friends are right there at the window. How do you get out of here? We need to help it out. Let's find a window. What do you need an open window? Alright guys, so there is an opening over here. The pigeon can get out. There we go. Outside, free! Free, freedom! Free. <laughs> Alright, so real talk though, that pigeon just got to be free with his friend, because his friend followed us along the window mm -hmm. side. Alright, so that was cool. So far we've caught a snake this year, a big one, and now we've caught a pigeon. Hopefully we don't catch any diseases in this hospital. We're going to find a clean place to do a paranormal investigation. Oh look, this goes to the roof. I think so. A fridge or something. A fridge? Yeah. That looks like some sort of like electric device. Probably for surgery rooms. Mm -hmm. This, yeah, but it smells terrible in here. They don't leave any windows open. So this was like probably like an administration area. Hey, look at this machine. What's that all about? Another staircase over here. We'll see where it goes. Oh, it's a very steep staircase. Hey, there's the door to the roof. Don't say that. I, don't I, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Oh, he's not joking. Sealed shut. Damn it, we're trapped. That's a steep ass staircase. Holy moly, I gotta go backwards on that. Probably the steepest staircase. Careful, this handle is like. So we just found another staircase. I thought we were at the top. Right? I thought we were at the top too. So I guess that wasn't the top level. Cause like some parts of the hospital only have three levels and some parts have like four, but this one is just five and six and seven. It goes up way higher than that. Jesus. All right, so this is the fifth floor. Just when we thought we were on the top floor, there's more to explore. Damn. It's not as smelly as the other floor that we were on, that's for sure. A lot of the surgery rooms might have been up on this floor too. So, let's see what we can find. I've gone off alone right now. We are on the sixth floor now and then we just come across these thinner and smaller looking staircases that go up to, I have no clue where because they just keep going and going. So let's go upstairs and see where they go. Hopefully there's some hidden gems up here. Oh, what the hell? So these go into like control room of some sort or power plant. I'm upstairs. Ooh, this looks unsafe to walk on. Look at that view. Wow. It is such a hot day today too. It's 30 degrees Celsius outside. Hello USA. I'll be there soon. So we just found a TV that's in great condition. It's called a Magnavox. It literally looks like it's brand new. It hasn't been destroyed at all. Okay, so we are back in the chapel right now. After doing a lot of investigating upstairs, we found that there probably isn't anything up that way and it was completely empty. So we're gonna try to use a necrophonic in the chapel of old places, you never know. Sometimes we get crazy, crazy accuracy. All right, we're gonna try the necrophonic right now. All right guys, we got the necrophonic scanning over here. Look at that, it too is actually getting some action. Are there any spirits that used to roam these hallways? Or still do? No, no, don't sit on that. You're gonna fall. It's literally about to break. <laughs> Are there any spirits that are still in this hospital? Help. That was a help. 
Do you guys need help? Are you stuck here? Forever. Yes, forever. You heard that, right? Mm-hmm. Why forever? How come you can't leave? Mom? Why can't you leave this, this hospital? Demon? I heard that. Are you guys harassed by a demon? So we did try communicating with a necrophonic um, upstairs. We got nothing on it. So I figured we'd come down to the church because in the church, it could be like a safe haven for these spirits. You know what I mean? Like not yeah. demons, but spirits. So maybe the demons aren't allowed in the actual church. Mm -hmm. Another demon right there. Is there a demon outside of the hallway? Party. I heard that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Cody here? <laughs> you gotta yell when you ask that. <laughs> what kind of demon is haunting you guys? Four. Four demons. Do you know their names? Freddy. Do we have other names? We're getting some good responses mm -hmm. here. I figure because it's a church, spirits could be using it as like a safe haven. Are you guys using the, ch the chapel? I heard pray. Yes, yes, there you go. Are you using the church as a safe haven? Is there evil in this building? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is Angelo evil? That's not nice. Um, um, yeah. yeah, somebody said you're evil. I'm not. Nice. Is Renny evil? No. no. <laughs> I'm angelic. Are the demons that roam the hallways evil? Is Mo evil? Am I e am I evil? Am I haunted by Tom? Oh my God! Is that what it's saying? Is Tom is Tom still following me? Say yes. Do you guys need help from this place? Is there any way we can help you? Yes. How can we help? Mo? My name is Mo, yeah. I said Dave. I said Mo, good, run. Is it warning you? Is it safe for us to come back and investigate at nighttime? Why is it? There's a lot of voices coming through. Why is it? It says that they're all trying to warn us. Why is it unsafe for us here at nighttime? Mo again. Mm -hmm. Is the devil in here? What's moving around over there? I don't know, but your EMF went off for like a second. Is the devil here? Oh, oh, oh. You guys know what I just heard? What? Belzebub. What? Belzebub. Be Belzebub? Oh, the, really? yeah. the demon. demon. Yeah. I heard the name Belzebub. Is it Belzebub or Bilzebub? Something like that. I think like it's Beelzebub. But that's what it sounds like. That's not a demon you want to mess with. No, you know? that's a hardcore demon. That's like one demon. of the top demons in the demon world. If you believe in demons and you know a lot about demons, read about Belzebub. He's no joke. I wouldn't even mess, I, I, you guys know I love to mess with demons and asylums, but this Belzebub character is no joke. You guys want to get out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. All right, let's do it, let's get out of here. <laughs>